Waycross presents an election forum for issue 15, a proposed road improvement tax levy for the village of Green Hills. When voters go to the polls on November 5th, they will be asked to approve the following issue. Issue 15, a renewal of a tax for the benefit of the village of Green Hills for the purpose of road improvement that the county auditor estimates will collect $39,000 annually at a rate not exceeding 1.5 mills for each $1 of taxable value, which amounts to $11 for each $100,000 of the county auditor's appraised value for five years, commencing in 2024, first due in calendar year 2025. Good evening, I'm Kurt Radel. This is the election forum on Waycross Community Media. I am the host of the program. I am the government programming coordinator. Voting is Tuesday, November the 5th. Early voting starts on October 8th. The last day to register or update your name or address is October 9th. To get full details, go to VoteHamiltonCounty.gov. As you can see on your screen, that's VoteHamiltonCountyOhio.gov. If you're watching this program live tonight, October 2nd, local residents are invited to submit their own questions to the candidates, which can be emailed to live at waycross.org. Again, that's live at waycross.org. Questions must be phrased for all candidates to respond. Email questions must include the resident's name, address, and community. Details will not be shared on the air. I will only read the first name and the street. An example is, our question is for Mary on Waycross Road. To see this broadcast and other election forums, for more information, go to waycross.tv. Well, we have with us, we have Councilwoman of the Village of Green Hills Council, Melanie Hermes with us, and we begin with your, first of all, good evening. Good evening. And what is your opening statement, if you'll give that for us? Um, this levy, thank you. This levy is a renewal levy for the specific purpose of road improvement and maintenance. The levy was first passed in November of 1979 and continuously has been approved every five years since. Um, this is not a new tax. We are appreciative of this continued support for this levy. Um, the levy cost $11 for a $100,000 home. So if your home is valued at $200,000, you will pay $22 for the year which is less than $2 per month. Now you mentioned in your opening statement that this is a renewal since 1979 and the support, it has been very strong, is that correct? That is correct. Now, can the street levy be used for any other specific purpose? And if so, what would the money be used for? Uh, the street levy can only be used for the specific purpose of street improve, road improvement and uh, maintenance. And some of that would include uh, contractual service for paving, sealing and large road repair, road salt, um, traffic signals, street signs, catch basins. Uh, we also use money this way for grant match, which would be capital outlay for various transit projects or the Ohio Public Works Commission project. Um, and that is, a, grant match is when you can get a grant um, and they say, we'll pay 75% if you pay 25%. So that's a good way to utilize our money and also get money from other sources. When you say road improvements, does that mean that you're doing one portion of Green Hills one year, another portion, and so on? How, is that, how does that work? Well, we actually are, the village's engineer, which is JMA Consultants, evaluates the streets using various factors, such as cracking, heaving up, sinking, etc., and they get evaluated every year, and the priority may change depending on the year and um, what has happened over the year, because different streets may wear down quicker than others, so one might jump, seem to jump up on the list, uh, but it's based on wear and tear. On the wear and tear, has there been anything with you being on city council that you've seen it's more of cracking or it's more of sinking or anything along those lines? It's a various um, mix of things. I will say that we have utilized crack sealing over the past years, and that helps extend the life of the street. So sometimes instead of doing a full depth repair or a full repair, um, we'll go out and do crack sealing, which would be just doing minor uh, maintenance on the roads in hopes that it will extend for future, um, until the future for repairs. If we can go back to that grant again, explain that to us again 
on how you can match and who are you matching with? Is it is with the state of Ohio? How's that work? The Ohio Public Works Commission, so the OPWC project, that would be um, a street improvement. So let's say Winton Road, um, we used grant for that as well. And usually what happens is it runs through the village, but they'll say if you spend, um, for say it's a $100,000 project, they would spend 75000 we would f spend 25000 So it's a... It works for you in that aspect now. Absolutely, and for are, our residents. For the residents. Now, what other funds are, are the other funds used for streets? What other funds can you use? We also get money from gasoline tax, and that's about one hundred and seventy thousand dollars per year, and motor vehicle license fees, which is about between sixty and seventy thousand per year. Um, when you go to renew your driver's license or to get license plate, do make sure to tell them you live in Green Hills. Um, we do get money back from Ohio. Uh, based on that information. I will say over the years it has gotten better with the technology. If your address is current and within Green Hills, we should be able to get that back. But I do encourage people to make sure. Now when you say gasoline tax, is that gasoline that is pumped here in Hamilton County? You're getting money from there or is it anywhere in the state? How is that distributed? Oh, I'm not sure I know that question. I believe it's based, um, it's just in the state of Ohio. But state I, of Ohio, okay. But Thank I'm not 100% sure. So, well, I mean, it, it, we know that if you go to the pump, where, wherever you're going to go, you're going to benefit a community. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Yes. Now, are there any other issues or aspects of this levy that you would like to uh, bring out? Um, well, we have approximately 20 miles, a little bit more than that. Uh, some of the funds do go towards... Uh, well, we mentioned salt, so depending on the weather, we do spend about $40,000 per year in salt. Um, so for snow plowing, and that's very important in the winter, getting us to work on time. Now, uh, it's amazing how much salt costs. Absolutely. And if you get a bad winter, you gotta go back and get more salt, is that correct? Huh? We anticipate pretty well. We keep our stocks um, up to date, and we've done a good job of making sure that we're well stocked before the season starts. Um, we do usually get in with a cooperative, so we're um, buying salt with other local governments. So it's it's a nice way to cost share and get um, economy of scale. Now, if the levy should fail, what kind of an impact would that have? Well, obviously, um, Green Hills won't be able to do as much or move as quickly on repairs. Repairs will still be made. Obviously, uh, roads are very important and a vital part of a community and our infrastructure. However, the repairs might not happen as quickly as we would like. And you said how many miles were in Green Hills? A little over 20 miles. Well, it's one of those things where you take a look at and you say, if the levy fails, I'm glad you told us what the impact is. Would you again explain how much the cost would be the breakdown for someone just joining us? Yes, it's, as I said, it's a renewal levy and it brings in about $37,500. However, it only costs $11 for an $100,000 value home. Um, I doubled that just this day and age, house prices. So for a $200,000 home, that would be about $22 per year, which is less than $2 per month. Now it's time for your closing statement. Oh, that was quick. Um, Again, this is a renewal levy that has been continuous since 1979. We come back every five years. It's very vital to the infrastructure of Green Hills. Um, I would like to thank the Green Hills voters for their continued support, and thank you. Is there anything else that we did not cover that you would like to convey? No, I am. I have covered everything that I think the levy should cover, and um, I am glad of this time. Well, we thank you. We want to make sure that uh, you had the opportunity to present everything about the road improvement levy. And again, what is the issue number on that? Issue 15. Issue 15. Thank you so very much for being with us. Thank you. To see this broadcast or other election forums, you can go to waycross.tv. Voting is Tuesday, November 5th. Early voting starts October 8th. The last day to register or update your name, address is October 7th. To get full details, Go to VoteHamiltonCountyOhio.gov. Again, that's VoteHamiltonCountyOhio.gov. I'm Kurt Radel, Waycross Community Media. Thank you for joining us, and have a great evening.
Waycross takes no positions on candidates or issues. We conduct these forums so that our viewers may be better informed voters for the November 5th election.